new day. Oh my. <gasps> this is the best thing ever. What? Okay, y'all. It's a new day. It's a new unboxing. And today we have such a good one. <laughs> and let me tell you, <laughs> I wasn't sure it was actually going to make it. <laughs> This has been a journey to get here, finally. Oh my gosh. This is from Saks. And at first, the label was created, but then it just didn't ship. It just didn't start moving. And it was supposed to be on two-day shipping. Um, and then it just didn't move for like four days straight. And then all of a sudden it moved, which was really great, but then just stopped moving again. It was... We was it's been a, it's been a little bit it's been a little bit since I ordered these but they finally came so I swear to God if that if what I ordered is not in this box <laughs> well we're about to find out together because if it is it's gonna be epic <laughs> let's get into it okay so I ordered these from Ricky who is a sax essay based out of New York in Manhattan. Um, and I traveled to New York quite a bit, so I love Ricky. And we um, found these for me. They are so hard to find. And he did such a great job um, hunting them down, finding them, and nabbing them for me. I am so grateful. But there are um, a few more coming in stock, actually. So although they are typically sold out absolutely everywhere and have been for a while, I think we're in luck and uh, a lot of places just got new stock. So um, this will be an unboxing that you guys can actually get. I know that's sometimes no fun when, when um, you guys can't get anything because it's already sold out. But these, oh, <laughs> I am so excited, are a pair. Oh no, the receipt looks correct, maybe, at least, hopefully, please. These are a pair of shoes. Oh, it wraps nicely, love that. What brand do we think it is? What brand do we think it is? Just for a fun bit of pull, you guys know I love pulls. Come on, come on, play with me. Okay, okay, let's get into it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> excited I am so excited Ooh. who guessed right you guys know me I have never seen these in person and uh, I never even thought I wanted them until I started seeing them consistently on Alpa I believe that's how you spell it or say pronounce her name. Um, I'm going to tag her here because she has the coolest outfits. She is originally from France and she's living in Florida, I believe, um, and styles these all the time. And I just think she looks so cool and chic. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need them now. So, so when he was able to find me, oh, I nabbed them. Oh my gosh, look. Wow. The details on these. Look, it even has little CC here. These are the Chanel Sports Train sneakers. And you guys know, I am not a sneaker person. I am a loafer girl, like hardcore to my core. And uh, really loafers and heels and flats are kind of like my jam. But I just thought these look so chic, especially how um, Alpha styles hers. She wears a lot of long coats as well. And uh, that's really my style, like long wool coats. And I just thought, man, especially when you're in like a city like New York or something or Paris, whenever we can travel, I think that they would be really great, like run around shoes while still looking chic. I'm trying to be cooler, guys. <laughs> you know that I got the, the Dior ones for this. So I thought, all right, I have a Dior cool pair in all pink. Maybe I'll do the Chanel pair and be cool. <laughs> I, do, I mean, right? It works. It works. They're chic enough to where they can still go with me dressing pretty tailored and classic. Wow, I cannot get over the details, though. Can you see the quilting and the quilting here and the Chanel in the back? They are, like, very, very nice. I got them in a 38 and a half, which I typically wear that in Chanel. If you don't know, Chanel... There is the SKU card in case you guys need it. 
usually people um as in essays usually essays knows what knows what these are goodness can't speak today uh but just in case you need that there you go um and oh and they're even kind of stretch enough that you could like slip them in oh i love that oh look at the has the um sewn in one just looking at all the details these are probably one of the nicest chanel sneakers that i've ever seen actually and good because the price tag is definitely up there they are pricey i own one more pair of chanel sneakers here i'll get them which are just a classic pair right here and my og followers will know the drama with these <laughs> these are from uh season 16 cruise i believe and the um I don't know if you can tell, but uh, the bottom here is actually multicolored and I got them for a pretty good deal because uh, they were being refurbished and the uh, person that um, or that sent them off to the place they were being refurbished made a mistake and made this too dark. Um, and then I just thought that I couldn't get away with like the multicolor. So then I ended up painting the bottom black. So it would be black, um, beige and white. And I do love these. I feel like they're perfect, like sporty, just kind of like throw around at the airport. I actually have two pairs of Chanel sneakers. The other ones are my, um, sports collection. They're vintage, but they're golf shoes, which I love. And here are the Dior sneakers that I was telling, talking about earlier that, <laughs> that I bought to be cooler, but you know what I mean? Like that's like a cool duo, right? You know, you have like the Dior with like a lady Dior. Maybe if I got one in this color, that would be like epic. And then you have like the Chanel with like a black fla classic flap. You see the vision? I feel like I can, you know, be a little more young, a little cooler. <laughs> I don't know why all of a sudden I'm obsessed with being cooler. I, I, I genuinely really enjoy dressing very tailored and wearing a lot of heels. But as I travel, especially um, in places like Paris and I'm staying for a long time, it is uh, like harder. Obviously, you don't wear heels as often. Um, so I am looking for something that's chic kind of every day, but doesn't ruin my loafers. Like in New York, for instance, if it starts raining, then the bottom of your loafers gets ruined because of the uh, leather. And so these are kind of to fit that mold. I'm being so rambly today. Let's try them on, shall we? Goodness. And here we have it. I did one with the tie at the top. And then I did one where it's tucked in. I definitely need to tighten the laces, I think. I could have probably got a 38 in these. Everybody says they run true to size. I would I would agree with that. I think um, if you have like a size that you teeter-totter in, you could definitely size down. Um, because they are like the neoprene kind of material on the edge, they have a lot of stretch to them. Um, so that these are going to be really great as far as comfortable because they are nowhere near tight. Um, I might, I might have preferred them to be a little bit sh like smaller, just a tinge, but I also don't have really thick socks on right now. And in winter I probably would. So they might actually might be perfect. Let's check them out in the mirror. Oh yeah. They are so cool. This is exactly what I was wanting. Just a cool pair of all black sneakers with like a touch of chic with the Chanel and the gold. That's really, really cute. You know what I mean? Like even with like a smart outfit and leggings, I could throw on like a camel coat and even my Chanel, um, my Chanel uh, baseball hat. Goodness, couldn't think of the word baseball. Uh, and and then like I have like a really easy casual chic look or you dress it up a little bit with like, you know, a shirt, but like you can still look chic enough for something like being in a city. You know what I mean? Love that. Yeah, they're really good. Okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, I love them for sure. I can't, I'm so used to shoes being so tight. <laughs> I'm like almost not used to the fact that they're like a little bit loose. Um, if you don't know, I gained a whole bunch of weight and my foot size went up. So I'm kind of constantly in the, in the middle of like buying shoes for what fits me like well right now. And then what will fit me when I go back to my normal weight. And so I'm, I can't decide if they're going to be too big when I, uh, lose weight again. But I don't think so. I think they're going to be okay. I typically, I, I'm a US size seven and I buy a 38 in Chanel or 38 and a half. Sometimes even 39s in Chanel, especially when like, for instance, those right there are 39s because they have um, a narrow, uh, like where your the width of your foot goes. So I thought I was playing it safe by just going directly in the middle, especially since those other sneakers that I have that I showed earlier, those are actually 37s and a halves. Um, and those are tight. 
So I was expecting them to be um, like similar to, to the fit in these. And I would not say that they are the, sim the same fit. So if you have uh, Chanel sneakers like the ones I showed earlier, uh, they, they aren't the same fit for sure. These are way more comfortable, first of all, way, way more comfortable. And I think way more forgiving in the actual sizing. Uh, but yeah, I'm <laughs> like, I'm loving these. Like, wait a minute these were a great purchase okay yep officially a really really good purchase i'm actually gonna throw up a few pictures of how alpha um styles hers so you can kind of get my vision um and my inspiration for why i bought them but just the details on them are so good they are expensive they are 950 which is actually pretty average for chanel sneakers but the fact that these are so well um like put together in the detail and the quality is really there i think more than their average sneakers um i i really don't mind that i think that's i think that's great i love yeah. Yep. Thank you so much, Alpa, <laughs> for being my inspiration to buy these. Love them. And thank you so much to Ricky for finding them for me. I actually know a few other essays as well who have them in stock right now. So um, if you're interested in them, I believe there's like a 38 and a half and a 39. DM me and I will send you the um, contact that has them in his possession right now. And I uh, will throw up anybody else that I see that has them in stock, but honestly, worth it. I love them. They're really, really good. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, please like this video, subscribe, and click the bell so you're notified because I upload new unboxing videos every single day.